Welcome to the Chip Stack DMV Poker Vlog. Woo. On this road here going to Atlantic City. Uh, like I was saying, heading out to Atlantic City. We're staying at the Border Gata. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy the, the, the city, enjoy the boardwalk. I'm gonna do some one three at them tables, you know what I mean? Uh, but before that, you know, just like Scotty went and said, I'm gonna follow his oh. advice. What's up, baby? You know, your wife told me it's um, your birthday today. You know, for, I, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Enjoy your special day, with your, especially with your wife, baby. You know, and your family and friends. You're, you're gonna take a trip to um, Atlantic and Bogota. Good luck to those places. But first, enjoy first, you know, baby? Then play your game when when you happy. So good luck. And um, one more time, happy birthday, Cole. And we made it. Um, had to ride through all types of rains and storms. It was raining cats, dogs, bears, gorillas, all that stuff. Now my wife said she just got here. Um, yeah, so uh, we're just now checking in. <laughs> Miss the burlesque show, unfortunately, but that's cool. You know, we're still gonna have a good time. We always, we always know how to keep it super lit. You know what I'm saying? Let's check in, get settled in, and see where it goes from there. You know, see how the drinks are flowing. We're still celebrating, right? Okay. Like Sadie once said, have a good time. Baby. Baby. Right, cash game one three at the Borgata, coming in ice cold as you'll hear from this hand history. But here we go. Uh, we have pocket nines in middle position, um, and uh, we have a fold, two limpers, and I decide to raise to eleven. I would three bets or more, but you know this table's been folding off at fifteen, twenty dollar bets. Just really crazy dynamics here, but you know fun nevertheless. So we have four callers at eleven dollars, and uh, the flop comes out. Six of hearts, seven of hearts, ten of spades. Checks around at this point. Um, and I have a gutter to the straight. Uh, and, you know, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, head and check. And uh, let's see what the turn brings. Turn is the eight of spades. So, boom. I got the straight. Uh, but there's a heart draw and a spade draw. We have two checks. No, actually three checkers. And then it comes to me. Um, and I decide to bet $35. Let's see if we can reduce some of the weight on the table here and still get some callers. We have one fold and two callers at 35 Under the gun plus one decides to fold. Um, and I'm, as I'm thinking, okay, no spade, no heart, no spade, no heart. The king of spade comes out on the river. Uh, so we have a check, another check. And it comes to me, I'm looking at the older lady uh, sitting next to me, and all night she's been she's been catching people, but on the slow play. I'm talking about she'll so, slow play if she wins it, slow play if she loses it, so you'll never know what she has. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to go on ahead and check this time. You know, a bit nitty, like I said, kind of rusty, you know, coming into to Jersey, uh, Borgata, Atlantic City. And um, she takes a look, and she takes a look, and at this point, I don't know if she's going to fold it, if she's going to show me a winner, um, but we take down the hand, and um, I'll let you see the footage. She's been slow playing it all night. Stop the using that. No, I got to wait, because... <laughs> I was gonna say, if you slow roll me, say, say something nice, you know. Give me a compliment first before you slow roll me. Oh man, back like I never left. Oh, 
it's, it's late, or should I say early in the morning. See my bags under my eyes looking crazy. Yo, bags under my eyes, but to my surprise, I'm okay. And I'm more than okay. Got a big win. So that's in for 270 out for 555. And I'm about to go cash this shit in, get some sleep. And I'll wake up tomorrow, hit the pool, do some things on the boardwalk, stunting and fronting, you know what I mean? You dig? And um, I'm done for the night. I'm done. Catch y'all on tomorrow. Let's we'll see what else we do. Alright, alright, we're headed up to I'm not getting you, I'm getting me. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going up. The upper room. Babe, check this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, had a great night. Gonna even have a greater day. Uh, about to head over to this pool real quick. At the uh, Borgata uh, Water Club. I'm saying. Ready to get in there. Got the hockey fence on. We don't know about those. Yeah, it's a uh, Friday night, you know. So, still doing this birthday thing, still celebrating. We're going to do this, explore the boardwalk, um, and uh, who knows what later. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh. Nicki Minaj joint. <laughs> Yeah, we're at the Hard Rock. Ooh, gelati. Gelato. So many. Yeah, look at this gelato. It looks fantastic. We're here at the Hard Rock right now. AC just doing a weekend getaway. I might have to do a taste myself. Can I get a taste of the uh, peanut butter? Taste one. Yo! It's good. Thank you. Wow. So now we're out here um, sitting at the dock of the bay on the piers in Atlantic City uh, where the games are, you know, for all the kids and stuff out at the pier, facing the water. It turned out to be a beautiful day. And we may or may not be going over here to get a little uh, something, you know, some more cocktails. Margarita time. It's loving life. Cheers.
Okay, now for a hand at Harris. I'm sitting in middle position with Ace of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds. And we get some folds, and then we finally get a call to the limp from the cutoff for $3. Go to the big blind. He's going to check his option. And I'm going to go on ahead and uh, raise up to $17 with my Ace Queen offsuit. Um, cut off the sides to let it go, and big blind comes along for the ride. And we go to the flop, which comes. Seven of hearts, ten of clubs, ten of spades. Um, the big blind checks, and I decide to go on ahead and put out a, a C bet, I guess, you know, $20. Um, and uh, thinking, all right, well, with uh, two tens on the board, I may have the best hand with my ace. Um, but he thinks differently and decides to bump it up to 65 why 65? Not sure. I mean, um, math-wise, I should more than likely have the best hand, but I doubt it's a bluff at these stakes. So I take the wise route and decide to let it go. And he graciously shows me Jack 10 of heart. Okay, now on this hand, I'm at the, uh, the big blind, 10 of clubs, 10 of diamonds. And uh, we have folds going around until we get to the small blind who limps in. I decide to raise to $15 with my pocket tens. And under the gun comes along for 15. Small blind is out of there. So that means we're going to go heads up to the flop, which comes out six of diamonds, seven of clubs, three of hearts. Um, right here, I go on ahead and I check my option. Under the gun bets $20. And with my over. Uh, over pair, I go on ahead and call the 20. And then we get to the turn. Turn comes out, jack of clubs. Um, this time uh, I decide to check and under the gun checks as well. I check because I saw that jack come out, which is over my pocket tens, and which could be more than likely in his range, but he went on ahead and checked. So I'm sensing a little weakness here. We go to the river, which comes out the four of spades. I decide to check again, and this time the hero bets $30. Which is an odd line. I mean, um, let's see, uh, you know, he limped in and I raise, he calls the raise, and then there's a check after the turn. Uh, so I'm sitting there thinking, okay, maybe it's a hero call here for me. I mean, what else could he have? He didn't, you know, bet on the jack. And $30 is a pretty good price. So I go on ahead and call, thinking that I may have the best hand here. He busts my bubble and shows. Aces. That's right. He limped in with aces and called my raise with aces. Uh, what are you going to do? Everybody loves aces, right? Anyway, on to the next one. Seven. I need a seven. Yeah. And a club. Well, done here at uh, 
at Harris and um, did not go well. Um, well, you know, in for 300, out for zero. Uh, but I played well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really, I'm not really tripping for real. I, I played, I played, I played pretty good. You know, gotten some rough spots and do what I had to. There was one uh, mistake I made. Uh, maybe what the second hand in with the pocket fives or whatever. The five came on the river, but I had already folded by the turn. Um, to a bet that I really shouldn't have folded on, being a nit. Other than that, uh, got beat set over set this last hand. Um, a hand before I got um, rivered by a straight, and then got away from a situation where somebody flopped straight. And I had ace jack, that hurt too. Anyway. Tough goings, but you know what? It's cool. I'm gonna go back over to Borgata, get some sleep, and um, wake up for the next day. Well, this is the last day. Um, just took some, uh, you know, a bike riding on the uh, on the boardwalk. Wife's over resting. I'm out here on the pier. It's beautiful out here. Um, and, uh, you know, overall, great trip. Um, learned a lot as far as my blog thing goes. And, you know, um, poker went, uh, ah, could have been better, but you know what? I mean, just um, taking the effort to do this and showing that I can do it and uh, having it be um, more or less a bucket list accomplishment for myself, um, I, I think uh, that's pretty good. But anyway, there's gonna be more to come. Uh, feeling really confident in my game, confident about doing this thing uh, that they call vlogging. Um, and uh, what can I say? It's been a great birthday weekend altogether. So after this, probably stop the outlets. Got to, you know, get some more Ralph. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't have to, but, you know, I treat myself. Um, and, uh, yeah. So until next time, this is the Chip Stack DMV Poker Vlog. I'm signing out. And remember... Like Scotty Wynn said, enjoy first, then play. You do much better. All right, peace out.